Hey guys, uh, something happened that's kind of interesting. Uh, it occurred to me that I only have US games, and I mean, for the most part that's fine, but there are some very good European games that were never released in the US, primarily Mr. Gimmick, uh, I found out that was not a US, no, was, was, I don't know if it was never released, but it, is in my collect it wasn't in my list, but it is a European game, so I decided to add European games, so I will be. I gave them a two-star rating just so I can tell them apart. So here, I up to the point where I was. These four games right here, and uh, yeah, just these four games. So I'm going to review these four games, and then I'm going to move on to whatever's after Baby Boomer. So we're just going to review Ten Yard Fight. Just going to do a little backlog, backlogging. How are we doing on volume? Good? Okay. 10 yard fight, definitely a uh, definitely a sports game, so it's probably going to be bad. Super Bowl team, obviously. Why would you even ask? Oh, here we go. We got sound. Oh, it looks great. Well, two's fine. Okay. Oh, oh, what? I control that whole team. Buttons don't seem to do anything. I can just walk. Alright, I'll just run over here. What the hell am I? What what the hell, blue guy? Alright. Am I okay? Oh, that guy's wide open. That guy's wide open. That audience sound, thank god for that. That, that hissing, static sound. It's wonderful. Okay. I don't get it. I don't get it. Am I... Did we switch sides? Do they get the ball? Is that them? Pass intercept. Okay. I don't know what team I am. I don't know which color is me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh. Oh, A and B are the bo okay. All right, all right, all right, okay. Wow. He did something. Intercept. There's all, only interceptions in this game, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so it's my ball again. So. <laughs> God, get this atrocity out of my face. Oh, man. Ten yard fight. Easy. Easy zero out of one. Action in New York. Should we see the covers? We need to see the covers, don't we? Alright. Let's go to the beginning here. 10 yard fight. Here's 10 yard fight. Now we're looking for action in New York. Here we go. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. What the heck is going on? Alright. Let's try to restart that. There we go. Oh, it's by Infograms. They made a lot of good games that I like. Alone in the Dark. Um, that's all I can name right now, but I know they made a lot. I don't think I have names. I'm gonna call him Taylor, and I'll be him. Looks like kind of like Contra right now. I mean, that dude does. You must destroy them. The Earth is counting on you. Good luck. Oh. Whoa! Did not see this coming. It is kind of like Contra, except for you're a spaceship. Let's just shoot him up. You like start for like starting out and you start with a lot of firepower. Look at this. Oh my god, a lot of bad guys though. Yes. Hey, this is Contra sound effects pretty much too.
enemy. Oh. Cool city in the background. Check it out. shoot down and you shoot, so that's nice. Power-ups don't seem to... I got one that did something, but the other ones don't seem to do anything. Sweet man, this is badass. I like it, it's like I'm a jetpack killer, you know, like a warrior from the future. Oh, laser. Oh, oh hey, power me up. How much damage can I take? It's like not much. What kind of gun is this? It sucks. Oh, it's like explosive. This gun's actually pretty tight. Yeah, this gun is cool. It blows up. I need to get some life, though. I smell a boss, and I got nothing to do to him. strong. Hey, I like it when I beat level 1 without dying. I like that. I feel like that makes me feel like a really great player. What is it? Action in New York? Never heard of it. This game is awesome. If I had this, I would have loved it. Cool music in here, too. Oh, there I go. Mega Man style. Good timing, though. Good timing. All right, there it is. Who who knew? Action New York, one out of one. Let's look in for two star games here. Looking for two star. There should be two more hiding here. Lolo, Airwolf, no. Oh, Aladdin. Aladdin. Now that's promising. Aladdin. All the Aladdin games I've ever played have been great. Got the music. Virgin. Okay. I mean, can I skip these or? Oh, Agrabah Market. Yeah, we, all know, we all know the story. We all know the story. Come on. Oof. It feels like... It feels like a Sega port. kind of nice, but it looks absolutely dreadful. What? What, was it death? 
can't jump on people. Oh, I didn't realize I can kill him with the apples. I can. I mean, the music's great, but everything else is very bad. Just walk through everything, I guess. It's terrible. It's a terrible port of the Sega version of Aladdin. I, I, I mean, I don't really get... Can I get a year on this? Hold on. Is there a year? Is this Was this actually made, like, after? 1993. <sighs> yeah, I mean... 94. 94 and 93 are the copyrights. I feel like that is... That's after Sega, right? That's after that whole Super Nintendo thing. Alright, well... That was a bad one, so I guess it's zero. Should be one more before we get back on track. Oh, asterisk. Asteri asterisk. This one game is also infograms. The infograms make that a uh, um, New York game, or was that some? Was that a different game? I forgot already. Obelisk has vanished. Obelisk. Whatever. Hmm, nice looking graphics already. Jump on him. Oh, wow. I walk and climb him. What do I do here? Oh, I'll hit it. Okay. Boom! Kick his ass. Shut up. Half pimp. Well. Pretty solid platformer so far, I guess. Gotta ride the boar. Bam. Was it pow? Pow. Hmm. It's cool. I really like the mechanics here. There's like some you jump on the uh, the boars to get over the spikes. The boars, for some reason, are immune to spikes. They can walk right on them. Oh, there you go. Oh, did you see how I killed? He turned into meat. Path. Path. Key. Key. Oh. Ah. Nice, some of that potion. I think that gives me life, right? Nope. That's too bad. Oh, there's life. Oh! Cool. This game just looks fun. There's a lot of fun stuff already in the first level only. I bet it gets better and better. 
Ooh, Stonehenge. That guy hurt me. Come on. I obviously kicked his ass. Classic platforming. Ooh, <laughs> punch that bird right in its beak. Hey bird, come on up, uppercut. Hadouken! Oh! Shadouken! Oh! Bird! <sighs> ass, man. One bird. That's the end of asterisk. Birds. It's an awkward attack, though. <laughs> what was that? That game's sweet. Asterisk, very good platformer. So we got definitely, out of four, two were clear ones. That is great. Oh yeah, and now we're back to Back to the Future. Here we go. This is a known terrible game made by LJN, a renowned company for making terrible games, terrible movie games particularly. So you run, you get clocks, you get your ass kicked, and then you do this weird dance. Can you jump over the bench? Nope, can't jump over the bench. So what can you jump over? Can you really else like? Yes. Glass. You can't see it, but it's there. Now we have bowling balls I can throw. Kill that stupid hula hoop bitch. Uh, bowling ball. Can you imagine she's just hula hooping on the sidewalk? Some kid comes by and throws a bowling ball at her. Skateboard thing. Do I have infinite bowling balls? Okay. Can I keep my skateboard at least? Level two. Uh oh. Yeah, I do keep my skateboard. That's awesome. Can I keep my bowling balls? Oh. I get, I get Ollie too. You know what? This game's not so bad. I don't know what the fuss is all about. Oh. What do these clocks do? Oh, bowling pins. I should hit them with my bowling ball. Oh, yeah, 500. Do I care about points? I mean, I gotta hit bowling pills, right? Music is... It's like a six-second loop. Come on. Thrilling. This is thrilling. I'm excited to get to the next destination. Yeah, beat that up, big douche. Throw bowling balls at bees? Why not? Oh no! Oh, the oil slug didn't kill me. The hula hoop girls throw stuff at you now? That's mean. I guess I have it coming though. Oh no! Oh! Wow, did you see the skills? This game is a cakewalk. What's angry? What's angry video game nerd so mad about? Oh, well, I mean, this is pretty monotonous and boring, though, that's for sure. It's Nintendo, I suppose. 
Oh, darn it! I was really on a roll. Look at this shrimp now. Can't do anything. I guess I can get all the clocks in the world. Yes. Hey, bully. That's Biff, I guess. He's a bully. What is happening? This really has nothing to do with the, the movie at all. I'm just running around collecting clocks. Even metaphorically doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm running out of time. Where am I going? There's no... They don't set up a story at all. Am I trying to find Doc? Am I... Oh, okay, look at the bottom. You, you, I'm lighting up. I can't even explain it. Down at the bottom, there's like three people's faces, and when I get clocks, they light up. I guess just my time running out. Well, look, I'm, I'm, running out, I'm running out of time, and I'm only, I haven't done anything interesting yet. Oh, finally, this is it. Fight the bullies. Okay. What do I do here? Oh. Yeah. What, are we throwing glass at him? I'm throwing mugs at him? That's brutal. Yeah. Yes. How's that for a bloody nose? Boom! Oh, no, no, no. I'm finishing this. I hear this is supposed to be really hard. Oh, no! Oh, no! <sighs> well, I guess I had that coming. Stop. Well... You know what? You know what, guys? That's a one. That game is fun. I had a good time playing it. That bar game was pretty interesting at the end. I mean, I'm assuming that's those are the two games and you do that, like, ad nauseum, but I did not have a terrible time. I had a decent time, and that's better than a lot of the trash games I played, like Baby Boomer and Athena. Okay, so there it is. You saw it. LJN gets a one from me. Back to the Future gets a one. And now all the European games are in my list, and I shouldn't have to go back anymore. That was just a little backtracking. But that was a successful run. Three out of five games were a one out of one. That's a win for Nintendo. Thanks for watching, as always.